A wave of xenophobic violence has exploded in the Tunisian city of Sfax after the fatal stabbing of a local man during an altercation with migrants. The backlash saw 25 people hospitalised after a group of masked men took to the street, beating immigrants with stones and sticks. The authorities have since forcibly deported more than 1,000 migrants from the city, uh, taking them to the Tunisian borders. From the southern coastal city of Sfax, Bassem Buneni reports. Suffering from heat stroke, dehydration and exhaustion, many are still carrying injuries from the wave of violence, which only days before drove them from their homes. I spent four days here because I don't have a place to stay. I don't feel like I'm a human for now. I used to sleep here with my family, so I'm so tired. I just feel like I give up. And this was the scene last week. Violence in the streets of Sfax. We don't want them living here, screams one man. Long live Tunisia, long live Sfax. Sfax is not a refugee camp, says another. After days of tensions that reflected the surge of an anti-migrant sentiment, the Tunisian coastal city of Sfax will never be the same again. These migrants are gathering here in the city center to look for a way out. But their ordeal could be exacerbated as long as the Tunisian government hasn't managed to come up with a solution that preserves their dignity. Days before the attacks in Sfax, locals say toxic hate against black African migrants was surging online. There was a wave of racist videos on social media. I was seeing such disgusting posts, so I was sure an upsurge of anger was about to happen. In the past week, the authorities say they have removed 1,200 migrants from Sfax, driven to the Algerian and Libyan borders the president says they are being cared for. But videos from the Libyan border, filmed by the migrants, show some with open wounds. The migrants are no closer to finding somewhere to call home. And the authorities, far from a solution. Bassam Bounini, BBC News, Sfax, Tunisia.